being an Inochin is uh, a good, it's a great experience to see art in an open space. I really enjoyed the setting and I really enjoyed how everything is well integrated with nature. Everything in terms of art, artworks that are just, you know, placed within, uh, uh, placed among the path uh, of, you know, getting to pavilions. Pavilions that are structured in a way to, in a way to contain the artworks, but at the same time complement the surrounding. And I found the amount of things here is huge. Like it's a huge park filled with artworks and pavilions. Things are well spread around the space and you'd always have a good break before, you know, getting to the next pavilion. So that was one of the things I enjoyed the most about Inuchin. From this place in particular, Miguel Hilbranco, his work, like he's a photographer. And to be honest, uh, nothing to do with what I do like dance at all but like there was so much inspiration from that room like it's like a theater set up and it's just a slideshow of images and you can walk into that room and the slideshow and the music will be completely different so depending on what time of the day you go in you're gonna have a completely different you know feeling which is what I find that's crazy but that that's where it's appealing to the individual and it just shows you that well, it does. It does not really matter, you know. If you, you know, everyone will say something different about it, but that's essentially what I, art is. When I stepped in, it was, um, it was at this phase where there was a keyboard or a piano um, in the in the background, and it was absolutely mind-blowingly rela like relaxing. You just sat there and you like, kind of, everything just absorbed you. Like he's done photography, obviously, you know, that is his major role. But the way he presents it is like mixing media, mixing everything he knows. So that's what creates a powerful piece of art that he can, you know, um, he can reach out to an audience on many other levels than just photography. I mean, being here, it's, it's, uh very interesting experience because it has such a large collection of um, both architecture and art and the relationship I find between them is very unique. Yeah, more than the others, I mean this is this is an art piece within itself because I mean we were we were just down under underneath the building and, and we, we looked at how uh, they had some notes on some of the floorboards and uh, that was specifying how to put these together, where the location of the board was. Um, and it's very interesting to see that kind of process in the architecture, not only in the art.